friends, welcome to today's video. I thought we would do a super relaxed kind of palette review today and talk about the Hidden Treasures palette from Dose of Colors. I received this in one of my December BoxyCharm, BoxyLux, BoxyCharm Premium. It was one of them I received this in. Um, and I'm playing around with it a little bit. Um, so I have some idea about the formulas. I've been looking at some swatches. So today we're gonna do a look. I don't have any eyeshadow on my eyes right now. Uh, it'll probably be super simple. Uh, we'll do some swatches and I'll tell you what I think of this palette. Let me start right off the bat by saying, oof. I, I still dislike the layout of this palette so much. Uh, I just feel like, like overall, I think there's, how many shades are there in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten shades in here. And like for sure, if they didn't do it in this random scattered pattern, they could have made this a smaller palette or given us more colors. Like why not put a color in over here? <laughs> um, so the part of me that likes things to be very organized does not enjoy this. I also did find when I was using the palette, I sort of like, it feels like you have to hunt around, which maybe some people find fun, um, but I, not a fan of the layout. But let's talk about the formula, let's play around with it. Um, because really what you have here is a pretty neutral, pulling warm kind of palette. You have a mix of mattes and of um, metallics or satins. Uh, there is some micro shimmer in some of these. Other ones are much more like a satin kind of shade. And I have played around with Dose of Colors shadows before, but only matte ones. That was the Blushing Berries palette, and I'll put a link to that review down below. Uh, so it was kind of fun to play around with a different formula. Um, or a different finish, I should say, of a dose of color shadow. So let's zoom in, start playing with it. I really don't know what I'm going to do for a look today, but we'll just put a bunch of shadows on and see where it goes. In looking at this palette, there's a couple of shades that could be sort of transition kind of shades, like a crease shade. We have Map, which is this matte right here. And we also have Locket, which is here. Locket pulls a little more orange, which kind of makes sense in some of the warm tones that are here. And then in terms of darker mattes, there is Key, which is a dark brown, and then Onyx, which is just a total matte black. I thought at first that perhaps Pearl was a lighter matte, but it actually is much more of a satin and is very pretty and very um, opaque. We'll get to that, I think, a little bit later. Uh, but I think I'm going to try to do maybe something that doesn't pull quite so warm, so I'm going to go in with MAP. I will mention that I put my MAC Paint Pot on my eyes and powdered it very lightly uh, so that I would have a base to start with. I'm also going to attempt to use their mirror on the palette. It's just easier than holding up my other mirror that I have here, which is a little larger. You do get a mirror where you can see your eyes here. I'm using a big fluffy brush just into map. They are a little dusty, um, which is fine. And you can see this seems to blend really nicely and give a pretty nice crease shade. Also, I know that I need to get my brows done. It's a lot of stuff that I used to do. <laughs> Blends absolutely beautifully and is a very neutral, nice crease shade. I think I'm going to use Key just a little lower down and to the outside of the crease um, to sort of build up a little bit of shadow there. I'm going to go in with, it's a Glamour Dolls brush, but I like this brush. It's fluffy, but it also is tapered so that I can control a little bit more where the color is going. And I'm just dipping into Key, which is the darker brown. And I'll start just a little further down here. This is the only shade that I find can be, I don't want to say patchy, but doesn't blend quite as well as the others. I'm going to tap a little bit of key dark brown shade just onto the outer part of my lid there. I don't know that I'm going to use the black. If anything, I may use it, I think I'll use it as a liner. Because on me, blacks just tend to get just a little too harsh. There we go, we've built up some nice 
shadow. So I think now it's time to add a little bit of drama with some of the metallic shades. I mentioned that I think I'm going to stay away from anything too warm toned. So in looking here, we have Crown and Ruby, which are quite warm toned. Um, there is also Diamond, which I do find tends to be sort of the, I don't want to say crumbliest, but that's the other ones are very smooth and Diamond seems to be yeah, a little crumblier and a little like more micro shimmer in there. Uh, so I think I am going to use Diamond and Coin, which is this gold here. And I'll use Diamond more towards the outside, just with a little flat brush. Honestly, I usually do this part with my finger, but we'll see how I can do with a brush. I would normally actually tip my head a little bit forward so that if there is any fallout, that it wouldn't end up on my cheeks, but that's not great for you guys seeing what I'm doing. I mean, I find that to be pretty, but I do find out of all of the metallic shades, this one's just kind of the most finicky. That still does pull fairly warm. And I'm just gonna go back in with the brush that I put originally into Key, this little tapered brush, and I'm gonna actually go into Map and Key, kind of into both, because I just wanna blend the edges of where the metallic starts. And now for more towards the inner part of my eye, I'm going to use Coin, which is this metallic gold. I'm gonna use this one a little bit with my finger. There we go. So I'm gonna do that a little bit with diamond too, just to bring it out a bit. I'm also gonna go into coin with a little bit of a fluffy brush, just to blend kind of on the upper edge here into the crease shade. Now just to bring an extra bit of light right to the center of my lid, just with my finger, I'm going to go into Pearl, which I mentioned is that very satin and very opaque light color, and just tap it close to my lash line, right in the middle of where my pupils are when I'm facing forward. So you can see it just sort of brings a little bit of highlight there. I am going to use Onyx, the matte black shade there as my liner and I just have this very tiny little thin brush that I'm going to dip in. I have played around with Onyx as like a matte lid shade and it performs quite well, it blends quite nicely. I just don't tend to use black that much as like an actual shadow color. And actually there was very little fallout from the metallics in here. And using black shadow, sorry, I can't really talk while I do this, as a liner, just really getting close to the lash line can be a really nice way to emphasize the lash line without having sort of really graphic winged liner. It makes it look pretty natural. It also works well with dark browns, but I already used the dark brown. This would also be good to use if you wanted to sort of smoke out that black liner to give a really smoky look to your lash line. I'm gonna use just a touch of it. Just what's left on the brush. On my lower lash line, just a little bit. But then I'm gonna go in with a slightly larger flat brush and just go into map. I mean, I guess I could use Locket instead on the lower lash line, just use a different shade. Um, and I'm gonna stamp that on there a little bit and then blend it out with a uh, fluffy brush that I haven't used yet. I guess the better way of saying that would be a clean fluffy brush. There we go. I am going to go put on some mascara as well as sort of a lip color to go with this look and then I'll be back to show you the final results. So this is pretty much the final look. The one last thing that I'm going to do is just use a little bit of pearl and I'm just going to use my fingertip to do just a little touch of inner corner highlight just to add that little last bit of something and let me zoom you in. 
So here we go is the final look. It's a little more metallic than something I would wear to work, but I do like the shades of it, beautiful shades, everything blended really, really well. Um, I like the final look quite a bit, uh, and I'm pretty happy with it. So let's zoom out. Actually, let's do some swatches first, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. For our shades, we're going to start with Pearl, and I hope you can see that even though my skin is very, very light here, it really does show up and it's a beautiful shade. This is Map. This is Locket. This is Key, which I think you can see is not quite as pigmented as the others. This is Onyx, which really blends beautifully for a black. And then we get into these metallics, which I think are amazing. So this is Coin. This is Gemstone. This is Crown. This is Ruby, which is an amazing red shade. And then this is Diamond, which I like, but I think you can maybe see that it's a little bit crumbly as compared to the others. I really can't fault this palette at all in terms of formula. As I said, that one dark brown shade key I found could be the slightest bit slightest bit patchy, but really overall they blend it like a dream for the matte shades and these metallics are just, foiled metallics are just so beautiful and that pearl shade, there are very few light shades that actually show up on my skin and this is one, so that is gorgeous. The two drawbacks I have for this palette is, one is personal, I dislike the layout of this palette, drives me a little nuts. I've said it before. <laughs> I'll just say it again now. And the other is that this is a $50 US palette, which means here in Canada, it's going to be, I don't know, I want to say like $65 or something like that once you do the exchange rate. So I think this is a fairly pricey palette. Now I know Dose of Colors, as far as I understand, is like sort of an indie brand. So sometimes the prices are a little bit higher because they just don't have the volume or the distribution network or some of the other things that larger brands have. Um, but I do think the price is a little bit up there, but you can do so many nice neutral looks with this. Then you can shimmer things up if you want to, you know, do a going out look with that dark black there. You can do a smoky look. So this is really versatile. There's no pops of color in here. I mean, I guess other than, you know, the, um, you get those pops of warm shimmer in here. But if you are looking for something that can really carry you through a lot of looks, daytime, nighttime, with a really good formula, this is good. So as I said, those are my two drawbacks, is the layout and the price. But otherwise, everything else about this palette I love. And even though it will drive me bananas to look at it every day, I'm probably going to keep this out on my vanity and go to it because I think that in terms of going to work and doing neutral looks, adding just a little bit of shadow into the crease, doing things that are very natural looking, which is generally how I tend to do my eye looks, this is right up my alley. Thank you so much for joining me for this review today. If you liked it, this is a little bit more of a casual kind of thing, please give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you watching this so much. And if you're watching and not subscribed, please consider doing so. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.